Hello, it's Jess. Disneyland Paris is such a magical place, and it's not all about the rides. So in this video, you will see my top 10 must-do things, which includes not just rides, but shows, food, walk-through attractions, and parades. At number 10, it's the Hero Training Center. This is within the Avengers Campus in Walt Disney Studios, and is only available at Disneyland Paris. We had a really fun experience with Spider-Man and Black Panther, and it was great for all of the family, even my parents enjoyed it. I also like how it's a virtual queue so you can be doing other attractions in the parks whilst you wait, and we just really liked the professional photos that were taken. If you want to find out more about the Avengers Campus, check out this video. At number 9, it's Phantom Manor in Frontierland within Disneyland Park. This is such a classic ride, and it's been a childhood favorite, we always go on it when we're there. Fun fact, this is the only Phantom Manor across the Disney parks which looks abandoned. The backstory to this is that the mansion is owned by a gold rush baron and it's now fallen into disrepair after an earthquake kills the baron and his wife. For more on the backstory, check out the Behind the Attraction Haunted Mansion episode on Disney+. At number 8 is the Disneyland Paris Castle. This is such a dreamy castle, it's like it's from a storybook, and I think it is my favorite of all the castles. I love the design of it, and the best bit is you can explore it. Check out the stained glass, the walkthrough attraction on the Sleeping Beauty story, you can see Fantasyland from above, and also check out the dragon underneath in the dungeons. Fun fact, this is the only Disney castle to have a dragon. The castle is so amazing, it just deserves another fun fact. One of the craftsmen for the stained glass, Paul Chapman, actually came out of retirement to help, and he worked on Notre Dame and Westminster Abbey. If you're enjoying this top 10 video, then please like and subscribe. At number 7, it is the Buzz Lightyear Laser Blast Ride. This is also a childhood favorite, it's a family friendly ride and it's really fun because you're using your lasers to aim at different targets. If you want to find out more about the top 10 rides in Disneyland Paris, then check out this video. Moving on to food for number 6, it's Pim Kitchen. Located in the Avengers Campus in Walt Disney Studios, this all you can eat buffet restaurant serves American cuisine with a fantastic theme. It has an Ant-Man and the Wasp theme with super-sized or miniature-sized foods, and things are served in objects that you find in a lab, like flasks, beakers, and test tubes, which is really fun. You can check out my review of the restaurant here. If you are not a fan of buffets, but also looking for a really nice table service restaurant, then I would recommend Waltz, because I think it is the best restaurant in Disneyland Paris. On to number 5, it's Crush's Coaster. This roller coaster is only available at Disneyland Paris, and you sit in a turtle shell and experience the key scenes from the Finding Nemo movie. It's super fun, especially the second part of the ride where you're going through the East Australian current and it really becomes like a thrill ride. For number 4, it has to be the Mickey and the Magician show for me. It is my favorite show at Disneyland Paris. Watch Mickey learn the tricks of the trade to become a magician. What I love about the shows in Disney is that they are like a mini 30 minute musical. This show is in the Walt Disney Studios Park and features the classic songs from Aladdin, Beauty and the Beast, and Frozen, just to name a few. For number 3, it's the Ratatouille Ride. It's a 4D dark ride which has you dashing through Gusto's restaurant from the perspective of a rat. It was really well designed and it's super fun. Moving on to number 2, it is Big Thunder Mountain. This is such a fun ride and is not to be missed. The theming is great and I love this ride during the day and the nighttime. It has a very different atmosphere when you ride it in the nighttime. For number 1, it's the Disney Shows. It wouldn't be a trip to Disneyland Paris if you didn't watch the high energy parades like the Disney stars on parade in Disneyland Park. I just love the details of the floats, the dancers, the music, and all of the Disney characters. It just has a great atmosphere. For the nighttime show, this is also a must do. It's just so magical, and we never miss the nighttime shows. I'm also amazed by just how they use technology to play all the Disney stories on the castle itself. The fireworks are amazing, so definitely don't miss the nighttime show. The Discovery Arcade and Liberty Arcades also deserve an honorable mention. They are so beautifully designed and it's part of the amazing details that you get in Disneyland Paris. Top tip, don't forget to use the arcades when Main Street is super busy because then you can just move more quickly into the park. 
Thanks for watching. For more top tips for Disneyland Paris and the top 10 rides, then check out these videos. Don't forget to subscribe for future videos.